Kathy Griffin is sorry, really sorry, for this disturbing image holding a decapitated head of President Trump. I went way too far. The image is too disturbing. I understand how it offends people. It wasn't funny, I get it. This morning, the president tweeted, my children, especially my 11-year-old son, Barron, are having a hard time with this, sick. Video of the photo shoot was posted on the comedian's website. Her comments to the photographer clearly show she was aware she was playing with fire. We have to move to Mexico today, because we're going to go to prison, federal prison. Yeah. Yeah. She you know, sure looked put I together when she posed for the photo. Tyler Compare that to how drained and exhausted she looked on the video the apology from last image. night. And I beg for your forgiveness. I went too far. I made a mistake and I was wrong. The reaction to the image, which we're blurring because it is so graphic, was bipartisan and all negative. She said, I'm going to stand by my art. Well, she's not. She's a total wimp. What she actually wanted was to get this picture on there, to have the shock value, create the firestorm, and then be able to do the apology so that she can get a ton of attention. Even her buddy, Anderson Cooper, who co-hosts CNN's New Year's Eve coverage with her, went on the attack. For the record, I am appalled by the photo shoot Kathy Griffin took part in. It is clearly disgusting and completely inappropriate. CNN issued this statement. We found what she did disgusting and offensive. We are pleased to see she has apologized and asked that the photos be taken down. We are evaluating New Year's Eve and have made no decisions at this point. The Secret Service is taking the photo seriously, saying, Threats made against Secret Service protectees receive the highest priority of all of our investigations.